Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing good. So for today here we will be adding a bar for the Spectacle Island seashore settlement. We're uh, starting off here with uh, this crow's nest and uh, we will be building from the top down for this bar. And I will be using the place anywhere tool uh, throughout this whole build. And uh, I will also use another tool from the swap mod, but uh, I will explain uh, what it is when we get that part. Originally I had a completely other idea for this bar. I was uh, going to build a bar on top of a turned over boat, uh, build it on the bottom of the boat, you can say. But uh, I think it didn't uh, look good for what I was going for, because uh, the boat was too small. So I need a bigger boat. So sticking with the team here for the seashore settlement here at Spectacle Island, I ended up making uh, the tugboat bar and restaurant, or cafe maybe you could call it. And uh, I think it ended up looking uh, much better than my first idea actually. The tugboat cabin, it can be a little bit uh, tricky to place down, uh, at least here at Spectacle Island I think it might be because of uh, the uneven ground. So the tugboat cabin, it's the part where the restaurant will be, and uh, I will be building the bar under that uh, from uh, three paths. And I, I think uh, doing it in this order makes uh, everything much easier for builds like this. Because if I had started with the bottom, like uh, starting with the building the bar and putting the cabin on top of that, maybe be hard to hit just the right uh, position for the crow's nest there. So I'm starting off here with the first prepad, and after that, of course, the rest of the guys they won't snap because of the tugboat cabin on the top there. And uh, this is where the other tool I was talking about comes in handy. It's the stupid uh, workaround uh, pull place anywhere trigger and uh, what that uh, little thing does it's uh, you put down this uh, industrial wall light and uh, that industrial wall light it spawns a little blue blob and uh, what that blue blob does it uh, when you activate it it actually turns uh, the object where you have the the industri industrial wall light uh, it turns it invisible or uh, or it uh, makes it disappear until you trigger it again. So it's very handy for putting uh, stuff in when uh, there's an object that uh, makes it so you can't snap other things. I think that uh, many of the people that uh, don't want to use the swap mod are maybe not aware that you can do uh, awesome things like this. And uh, of course you can also uh, use the swap mod for tilting stuff. And the uh, tilting stuff it really adds uh, for the overall look and feel of the settlement, I think. Although I will not be tilting anything for this uh, build here today, so I'm <laughs> sorry Mr. Wilson, I know that you love that shit. Some people they claim that uh, one loses creativity by using the swap bar and the uh, place anywhere mod, but in my honest opinion some of the very best builds I've seen out there has been made by using those mods. And I would maybe compare it uh, to Bethesda giving us uh, a coloring book and the mods opening for the possibility to move on to a blank uh, canvas and uh, paintbrushes. See, uh, sticking with uh, the coloring book as I call it, I think that uh, restricts your creativity a lot more than moving on to using some mods like this. So now we can start to see the shape of this place. And, uh, I'm using the scaffold to get up to the tugboat uh, restaurant. And the reason why I've used the scaffolding board for the tugboat uh, cabin there is because it isn't uh, nav meshed. And uh, hopefully, when settlers move in here, they will uh, walk uh, on that floor. And uh, I won't actually move in any settlers here before I uh, have finished this whole place up. So I have no idea how they will uh, move around, and, but uh, hopefully it uh, won't be too bad. I still have my uh, life preserver small clinic and some shanty houses or apartments to put in here before I will do a narrated tour of uh, the whole uh, seashore settlement. And I think I will probably utilize my idea for building on a bottom side up boat 
Uh, what one of those? So uh, once more you can see uh, how handy that little tool uh, I used earlier on really is. Because uh, the shack walls here, they wouldn't place uh, before I remove the little uh, tugboat cabin on top there. So I am uh, putting in these uh, wooden walls here, so I guess the shack outer caps are uh, actually uh, obsolete, but I think they are uh, very good for adding details anyways, for the outside of the bar. And also the reason for putting in these walls are that uh, the shelves for having alcohol and such uh, uh, will be put on there. So the uh, finished tour I will do here later on. Uh, it uh, will not be that much uh, junk decoration going on actually, uh, but uh, I will uh, put in a whole lot more of details before I come back here and do a narrated tour of the complete uh, seashore settlement. But as I said earlier, I still have a couple of more things to put in here before I feel that I can call it a completely finished settlement. You can see the door that I'm going to use for uh, for the bartender to get behind the bar here. It sinks to the, through the ground a little uh, when you try to place it. But of course you can just use the place anywhere tool to lift it up. And uh, I always when I put down doors I exit uh, the workshop mode and try the door out to see which way the doors uh, go. If they swing uh, outwards or inwards. Because if I don't do that, I always fuck up on that and have to go back and redo it. So as I said, I still have a, a couple of more things to put in this uh, settlement before I uh, call it a complete uh, settlement. But I think the end product, it will end up looking very uh, fitting for the area here. And uh, I try to keep it as lore friendly as I can. So uh, these uh, shack bridges I'm putting in here, they are just uh, support, so the bar won't be just floating in the air.
And the one I put in the water here is it's just as a temporary support, so I, I don't have to struggle against this tree. And uh, also for the bridge there, you see between the little uh, tugboat uh, restaurant and uh, the crow's nest. I will uh, come back later on and add some supports for those two. I will probably tilt some of the ball track supports and uh, put them in an uh, angle there. So uh, we're closing in to the end of uh, this video. And uh, really the last thing I added here before uh, we go over to the finished uh, door. Is this walkway up to the top of the tugboat? And uh, here I also uh, just added uh, this Covenant uh, turret stand, just for some extra supports there for the floor. So uh, guys, uh, just sit back and relax and uh, enjoy the rest of this video, ho hopefully. And uh, I will come with some uh, quick words at the, the end of the video here.
So I hope that you like uh, my newest addition here to my spectacular uh, island sea seashore settlement. And uh, just before you guys uh, go, I want to ask you if you maybe could go check out uh, someone called Shui Games 82. He does some Fallout stuff too. And he has some very cool builds that I like. Especially a survival shelter that he did in uh, inside the alien cave. I wasn't even aware that you could build that. And uh, I think you'd uh, appreciate it if you come check it out too. And I'll just leave a link uh, to his YouTube in the comment section. And uh, until the next time guys, I wish you all a good time. See ya!